Hey, it's Joseph here. One of the benefit of being a YouTuber is the fact that some of the companies are willing to send you a sample of product or services so that you can feature it on one of your videos. Only the downside of that is the fact that you have to spend a lot of time and effort to get that video out on the channel so that you guys could see that video. And actually the return rate of that is quite terrible. I spent hours trying to get the videos up here so that you guys could see it whereas the product may not worth actually that much. But that is only if you consider the financial aspect of it. I actually enjoy making videos and sharing information with you guys and I love the feedback and the comments that you guys leave on my channel. So please continue to do that and support my channel in various ways. You know how to do that. So if you would do that for me, I would really, really appreciate that. So nonetheless, I have another product to showcase for you guys. And that's why you have clicked on this video to begin with. So let's go ahead and get that product on this table. So here it is. So this is not necessarily a new product. I have seen this device before and I know it had existed for quite a long time. And by the way, as a full disclosure, 3D Connection have sent me this product as a free sample for me to showcase it to you guys and tell you what we can do with this device in the architectural world. So that's basically what I'm trying to do here. Okay, inside here, Space Mouse Pro Wireless Quick Start Guide. Inside of that box, two different cables. And what is this? I guess that is a separate connector for USB-A ports. So there's two USB-A ports. And on the other side, there's micro USB. And there is also a dongle included. This is a typical 3D connection dongle that you see. And there is micro USB to USB-A type cable and there is much shorter micro USB to USB A cable and there is USB twin hub setup guide you can connect this as a cable but at the same time use a dongle so you can benefit the wireless functionality of it too so basically that is just extending it to two different connection but for that it's got quite a hefty weight to it okay let's put those things aside and open up the rest of the box there is the big 3d space mouse so in here is what we're after the 3d connection space mouse pro wireless it is quite big so overall construction, you can see the dial on the middle and then some macro, the programmable keys around. So a dial knob in the middle where you can do the usual thing as a space mouse, the 3D mouse. And then there are some macro keys all around so you can program those things. There are some obvious ones such as shift, escape key, control key, alt key, and there's a menu. And there's some other ones which I'm not sure. So that is a rotate maybe. And then it says T. I don't know what the T may be, tumble. And there's one, two, three, four of the programmable keys. And on the top, there is a power switch and then micro USB connection. And then on the bottom, there is a little slot for the dongle. And that is definitely a nice touch because you always misplace those things. Here is a Space Mouse wireless and obviously you can kind of see how different they are in terms of size. So this is a one with just two buttons on the side and the functionality of the 3D mouse. Whereas this one's got a lot more buttons and in sort of more ergonomic shape. So in your day-to-day -day tasks, if you rely on 3D mouse quite a lot, then it would certainly be helpful to have 3D mouse that is sort of ergonomic and right fit for your hand and short keys available for you. And again, at the bottom of Space Mouse Wireless does not have a little slot for the dongle, so I always kind of misplace them. In this one, that's not the case since you got one there. So other than that, the overall finish is sort of the rubbery polyurethane type of finish and all the buttons are that way too. 
and I see a power indicator on top and that's pretty much it for the construction of this and it's got pretty good weight to it so you can leave it and then it's not going to slide around it's got pretty grippy rubber feet on it too you can kind of rely on that as well let's go ahead and give it a shot okay so let me go ahead and connect this connector to my computer and then turn on the 3d mouse as soon as I turn it on the usual blue LED is coming on and by the way speaking of the battery for me it always lasted forever I never had to really charge them but on spec it will last about this much and then it will detect as Revit and the speed I'll just leave it in the middle advanced settings if I go back to the buttons obviously there's a lot more buttons available for you number one is virtual numpad number two is the radial menu pro three is course detail level four is medium detail level menu properties fit to zoom fit and then rotation on and off escape key control key alt shift and then T is the top view R is right view F is a front view and then rotate view clockwise. So this is the model that I'm going to test out today. So you're looking at Enscape right now of the same model that you were seeing on the Revit. But if I want to move quickly, I have to hit shift on the keyboard. But on this case, I have access to that key. So I'm going to hit shift with my pinky and then I am able to move a lot quicker. And again, the same thing, if I want to move extra fast, I can hold down control key, which I'll do it with my pinky as well. So you're able to move a lot quicker. Sorry, I'm going to probably make you very dizzy with this, aren't I? So let me just start from downstairs here. Let's go around this side with the car parked here. And then if I were to approach into the living room area, let me hide the menu so you guys see more clearly. And in here is the lovely living room area and then the kitchen, the dining area. And I can do it really slow so you guys have better look at what it's supposed to look like. And then let's go up the stairs. Turn around and look outside the porch and then I can turn around, go back in, admire the view onto the backyard and your sort of study area. I wish I had an office like this. Okay, let's explore a different room. What's over this door? Another room, a bedroom that looks out to the pool view as well. And on to the side, there's a little closet area. And then through this door here is a little shower and bath. So navigating through these tiny little spaces with the space mouse is quite easy. And if you do presentation in this way, you get smooth motion. Therefore, you get much better understanding of the space. That's why I always use 3D mouse, especially when I'm doing a live presentation. I can freely move through the space without much of a problem. There's no jitteriness. And the last thing that you want is getting stuck in between doors or walls or floors where you just can't get out. It's quite embarrassing in front of your client. So this is what I would usually like to do using 3D mouse. I am completely savvy with keyboard as well, but it just really adds that much of motion and a better spatial understanding. Obviously your model's got to look good, but with the 3D mouse, the space mouse, you can certainly do this quite easy.
Okay, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. Let's have the camera focus on the space mouse and it works wirelessly. So you don't have to have clutter of wires on your desk and it is simply going to work as long as you have it charged. Obviously you have choice of going a little bit smaller versus a little bit large. If you want additional functionality and if you find yourself using a lot of shortcuts and macro keys and then you will definitely benefit from the Space Mouse Pro Wireless. If you just want the functionality of the knob, then you can just use the Space Mouse Wireless as well. But these days I'm using Space Mouse quite frequently, so I wanted to consider the ergonomic solution of the Space Mouse and this seems to definitely deliver with a lot of macro and function keys available for you. So I hope this was useful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe to my channel for continue watching these type of videos. Thank you so much for watching as always. I'll see you next time. Bye.